Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick way to make tufted text in a pillow, like a birth announcement, or just a fun way to give someone a message. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. I provided a PSD file that includes this fabric base and for a birth announcement, shapes of a baby duck and pacifier. Of course you can use any shapes you'd like. In addition, I provided a brush preset of stitches that we'll use on the edges of our text. If you're not sure how to install brushes or other presets, watch my tutorial on how to do this. The link is located in the video's description and the PSD file for this project is also located there or in the project files. Open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using Geomancy. The tufted effect works best with fonts that are thick and bold. I'll choose a point of 68, smooth and center text. The fill color doesn't matter since we won't actually be using a color for the face. Type out your text. Let's increase the space or letting between the first two lines. Go to Window and Character. Highlight the second line and drag the letting icon to the right. To decrease the size of the bottom two lines, highlight the lines and either slide the size icon to the left or type in a lower amount. Now we can close the text panels. To center all your text on your document, open your rectangular marquee tool and drag a rectangle over your entire document. Open your move tool and click on the align horizontal centers icon. To delete the selection, press Ctrl D on a PC or Command D on a Mac. Make the shapes visible and press Shift as you click on the bottom shape to highlight all three layers. Go to Layer, Smart Objects and Convert to Smart Object. Make the fill 0%. Click on the FX button and choose Bevel and Emboss. Depending on the size and characteristics of your font, you may want to adjust the numbers we'll be assigning in the layer styles. Make the style Pillow and Boss the technique smooth, the depth 500 percent, the direction up, the size 15 pixels and soften it 6 pixels. Make the highlight mode color dodge, the opacity 50 percent, the shadow mode linear burn and the opacity 17 percent. Then click OK. We're ready to add threaded stitches Control click or command click on the text and shapes thumbnail to make a selection of it. Click on the new layer button to make a new layer. Let's name it Stitches. Open your path panel, click on the icon at the upper right and choose Make Work Path. The default tolerance is 0.5 pixels. Click OK. Invert the foreground and background colors by clicking the double curved arrow or by pressing X on your keyboard. Open your pencil tool, click on the arrow next to the brush size, and click on the gear icon to open your list of brush presets. Open this stitch preset I provided and click OK to just see this set in the brush window. Choose the one on the upper right corner and make the size 3 pixels. Press F5 to open your brush window. Click on Brush Tip Shape. The size is 3 pixels. Check spacing and make it 350 percent. Click Shape Dynamics and make sure your controls are set on Direction and Off. Click on the Work Path thumbnail to make sure your work path is visible and choose Stroke Path. The tool should be Pencil and Simulate Pressure is not checked. Click OK. To hide the work path, click in the gray area of the Paths panel. We can close the brush window now. Open your Layers panel, make the Blend Mode Soft Light, and the Opacity 50%. If you want to change the color of your image, make your background active and click on the Adjustment Layer button. Choose Channel Mixer. There are three output channels, red, green, and blue. Each channel has its own red, green, and blue settings. 
By changing the percentages of them, it increases or decreases a particular color within each output channel. So for example, if we want to make our image pink, I'll open the red output channel and make the green plus 22 and the blue plus 98. Then I'll open the blue output channel and make the blue plus 58. Experiment with the channels to get just the right color you want. Have fun making a tufted pillow custom birth announcement or just giving someone a message. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.